Well, another big push is also already underway in Kansas, even before the session starts in the Sunflower State, to give Kansans the right to buy wine and liquor and full-strength beer, along with their milk, pasta and eggs in the grocery store. The Kansas Chamber of Commerce launching a major effort to allow grocery stores to sell wine and hard spirits, which Missourians may be surprised to learn are still not allowed on the Kansas side of state line. Barbara, you've been following this. The Kansas Chain Chamber of Commerce is a deep-pocketed, influential bunch. Is the bi-state inequity finally going to change this year? Well, the Kansas Chamber of Commerce is influential, but let me tell you, those little liquor stores dotted throughout Kansas, man, they can raise a ruckus. I know because we wrote a couple editorials about this, and I didn't expect to hear much, but I sure did. And, um, and they'll be joined by, uh, there, there's a lot of, um, kind of like family-oriented, no alcohol groups in Kansas that join up with them. It comes up every year, but it never goes anywhere. So, Stacey. correct me if I'm wrong, but Kansas is a state that's very conservative, doesn't like government regulation. This seems like an unnecessary law where you're telling grocery stores and other business owners that they can't sell alcohol, but giving a minority, a very small minority, the right to do just that. I think this is a time that Kansas needs to look at itself in the mirror and get rid of this law. Well, that will be just another one of those measures we'll be looking at on this program through the course of this weekend.